Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. There was a mini update this Wednesday. Usually updates are on Friday, so it caught me very by surprise, but I'm happy that it is here because it includes a brand new unit, baby. That's right, we have ourselves some artillery here. Or at least they call them artillery. They're actually flat guns, which are anti-aircraft guns. Uh, but uh, they serve the purpose of artillery in this game. As you can see, we have a hundred of them versus six million zombies. We're just kind of testing the water. I have no idea how powerful or how not powerful these puppies actually are. They seem to be doing pretty well. They're already at 20k kills, which is kind of nutty, buddy. But... Maybe they don't manage to kill six million zombies. That's my guess. So we're, of course, going to give them more <laughs> as the uh, battle progresses here. Well, after this battle, we'll reset it and we'll add, I'm thinking, a thousand artillery as well as getting some of the German army involved here. Since, of course, the Chamans are the ones who use the flak guns. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking we're going to do. But for now, we're just sort of checking out what the artillery is like in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. It has been like a month or two since we have had a uh, UBS 2 update, so I'm super excited that they're they're getting some updates out. They did say that the brand new mod workshop for the Steam Workshop is uh, it's still involved uh, in in their updates. You know, they're still they're still working on it, but it's just taken a little bit longer than they initially thought or planned. So. Sadly, it is still not uh, in the game yet. I, I think the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 content is going to absolutely take off once that is, in fact, in the game. Uh, but until then, it, as of right now, it, it's still just sort of chilling, you know? I do want to see what possessing one of these things is like. Uh, that's another thing that we're going to have to check out with the uh, German units in this game uh, is that they added iron sights. My cat just jumped on the computer. Okay, hello, buddy. Um, but yeah, they did add iron sights for first person mode with different uh, units and stuff like that. So that uh, should be rather exciting as well. I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, so yeah, there's some new stuff in this update. It's not like a major update or anything like that, but hopefully we will have some more major updates to come. And we have died right there. Rip, rip, potato chip to our artillery piece. <laughs> uh, it's okay, we've still got, what, uh, 77 more of them. That's not a lot, that, that is not a lot. But it's, it's a pretty powerful unit, I think it's safe to say. They've already gotten uh, 98,000 kills on these six million zombies. That's nothing to scoff at. That is fairly impressive right there. And I think, you know, reinforcing them with even more units as well as German soldiers. Uh, we should be seeing, uh, perchance, a wiping out of the zombies. The zombie scam. Ah! <laughs> Either way, guys, if you do enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you have not already. We are slowly but surely working our way towards 600,000 subscribers. Hoping to hit it by the end of 2023. And uh, comment down below what kind of battles you'd like to see. I was thinking maybe it'd be fun to build a super fortress out of uh, artillery guns and stuff like that, you know, make a German super fortress in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. There are some bunkers we can use in the game, stuff like that, so maybe that'll be next video. Either way, 120,000 zombie kills for these 100 guns. Let's go ahead and uh, replay in this and buff it. All right, boys, here we have it. 1,000 flak guns with 100,000 supporting German riflemen. Uh, so, you know, we've seriously increased the firepower of the Chamans, uh, and, as, oh my god, that's a lot of boom booms, whoo, this is what they were talking about by bombing in The Last of Us, am I right? This is, this is extreme, this is quite a lot, wow, these things are powerful, they're already at 150,000 kills, that's insane, Okay, all right. They clearly pack a meaner punch than the Sherman tanks do, so that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and let's try this out. So, yeah, wait. Ready for this first person? Already I can tell they updated the gun model too, which is nice. Oh, that's huge. I think they should add a hit marker too. So you can see if you, you know, hit someone. <laughs> that would be nice. I guess there is a kill counter for click stuff. I think a little pink, like a little, little, little. Hit, hit marker, that'd be cool, that'd be cool, could 420 blaze it, 
Doritos MLG Pro, you know, 2012 mission mo montage, you know, it works. Okay, there's 35 damage. I guess you do know from the damage output, but like, uh, hit marker would, would be very satisfying, I guess. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna run away. <laughs> oh no! Wow. They are fast. They are fast boys. Alright, we're back in the German lines. Beautiful. Boom! Flick shot. Okay, got nothing. Oh, keep running. Hans! Run away! We do have all kill. All kill. That's good. <laughs> all kill. Not exactly super impressive. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Ah, I wish there was a reload animation. It would make more sense and I would understand it more, but I understand that the developers are more inclined to make this into a battle simulator than an FPS, so it makes sense. <laughs> I would rather they work on, uh, you know, the battle simulator aspects of the game rather than work on the FPS aspects of the game, but these are nice little touches that they're adding, um, so I enjoy it quite a bit. Alright, we've got two zombie kills. We are not increasing that number at all. <laughs> Every shot we take. How are those missing? There's like a billion zombies right there. Come on, I just want one more. One more zombie. One more. I just have to get lucky. The zombie has to be low health already. There we go. We got another zombie kill. Beautiful. Hans, have fun. Okay. Let's check out the rest of the battlefield. It seems like the zombies, they're, they're just getting torn up by this artillery fire. I mean, the artillery fire is incredibly devastating to their lines. It is just absolutely giving us so much, so much potential on this battlefield. And uh, it, it's a beautiful thing. We have lost 4,000 German soldiers, by the way. So we are not without losses here. We are not. Uh, you know, that's gonna that's gonna cut into us a little bit. It's gonna lower our firepower just a smidge. But as long as these artillery pieces stay up, I, I feel confident. You know, I, I feel like we could do big things. Very, very big things. Look at these boots. Look at these beautiful, beautiful big boy guns. Give me a, give me a slice of this. Boom. All right, easy kill. <laughs> It only counts as one kill, because you, you have to get a direct hit to get it to count as a kill. But then the explosive damage does kill more of them. It just counts as like a world kill, instead of us ourselves getting the kill, if that makes any sense to you. So, yeah, it's a little bit less satisfying, but that's okay. And then just a little bit, get some more kills that way. Beautiful. All right, what are we at currently? There are 4.5 million zombies still remaining. We got 88,000 German soldiers remaining. I think this could end up being a close one. I mean, 10,000 Germans have died. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of zombies eating good today. Uh, but still, we are getting crazy kills from the Germans. So why don't we go ahead and do our first time lapse of the battle. Let's do this angle right here. I think it's a beautiful bird's eye view. You can see the artillery, you can see the Germans, you can see the zombies. It's great. Let's roll it. All right, so that was about five minutes right there. It didn't take the zombies too long to peel through that section of the German army. Uh, they've gotten 25,000 kills now. It seems like the Germans over here are doing a whole lot better than the Germans over here, who, uh, you know, they don't have the wide open space to fire directly at the zombies over on this side. Uh, instead, they have like these little cities that the zombies can sort of duck under. There's also some hills and stuff, so it makes it harder to directly hit these zombies over here. Um, which I think is why these Germans are doing a little bit worse than the Germans on the right side. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, there's only 3 million zombies left, so that's literally halfway through. We are halfway through the zombie populace, and uh, right now the zombies have killed almost 28,000. So zombies are only about a quarter of the way through the Germans, a little over a quarter. So this does bode very well for the Germans. Of course, there is the fact that, you know, the more Germans that die, the less viable they are, or sorry, the more Germans that die, the less viable they are uh, in the battle itself. It's, it's a real problem because, um, you know, if too many Germans end up dying during this battle, they don't have the same firepower they used to, and slowly uh, their kills start to basically dwindle. That's basically what I'm getting at here. So, 
the, the zombies don't really have that. Uh, they can just continuously send the same soldiers forward, 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 forward until they're out and they lose. But with the Germans, they will have diminishing returns as the battle goes on. So that's definitely a, a threat to the German army here. It's going to be a bit of a problem going forward, but, uh, you know, they're doing very well still. I think they've still got it. Look at this. Look at this. I like how every once in a while there's like a big surge of explosions from the artillery. Um, just that they've reloaded and they could just go kapow and uh, basically save the German soldiers. Um, but inevitably, the zombies are inevitable. And uh, get get some good honking bites on these boys. These boys. I have to say, this artillery is a really, really welcome addition to the game. This is fantastic. Um, I don't know if they're going to add, like, MG42s, you know, stationary ones, or, you know, Tiger tanks would be a huge addition since there are Sherman tanks for the U.S. Um, or even just other World War II units. I, I would just love to see that, you know? That... That's one of the biggest things that I'd really love to see in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 is more World War II units. You know, I feel like the sky is the limit with adding World War II units um, for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. More um, autocannon AA guns would be really cool. Nebelwerfers would be amazing. Um, so hopefully the modding community does it if the uh, studio does not. but. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much potential there. Like, literally, the sky is the limit. So, I am I'm super excited. But maybe the sky isn't even the limit. Maybe they could have the Luftwaffe in the game. That would be gnarly. I would really enjoy that. That would be so sick. Um, either way, why don't we go ahead and run another time lapse here. Uh, another overhead, this time more open over here, which I think will look pretty cool. So, let's, let's get it. All right, we have some incredible, incredible losses here for the zombies, as well as the chavins. Uh, there are a mere about 400,000 zombies left alive. Uh, 50,000 Germans have died, so they've lost about half of their total force here. Um, but, I mean, this is clearly going to be a wash. Clearly, the Germans are going to end up managing to secure the dub ski here. Uh, it's just kind of a matter of time. Let's see some of Some of carnage on the hillside here they can't take a few steps without getting absolutely blasted absolutely gobsmacked as it were um <laughs> yeah the, the zombie numbers are depleting extremely fast now they're at 300,000 290,000 285,000 280,000 they're going down so incredibly fast uh so why don't we go ahead and just do a little time lapse of the ending here uh and we will have secured the bag for the German army. Okay, so the battle is pretty much Oversville. Uh, we've got 26,000 zombies left alive and 44,655 Germans left alive. The only problem is that the uh, zombies are trickling in. They must be like stuck somewhere and getting out very, very snooty. Um, yep, they're all like on this rock sort of a thing. Uh, so that's what's, what's causing them to be so slow. So why don't we go ahead and... The Germans developed the nuke! Oh God! And skadoosh, it is pretty much over, over skis. Um, either way, guys, that is going to be about it for today's video. We'll definitely be checking out uh, if there's any other new stuff in this update. Uh, we can check that out, too. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.